God needs to bless the preacher as well as it does those who are listening. Amen? <clears throat> hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, how many is glad to be in the house of the Lord tonight? Amen. Praise God. How many is glad you are in the house of the Lord too? Amen? Amen. Where His temple dwells, where His spirit dwells. Amen? Amen? Go with me tonight to the New Testament book of Mark. Hallelujah. I'll try not to be long tonight, but amen to God, I will not apologize for what the Lord does. <clears throat> amen. amen. Praise God. I, I just want Jesus to have His way tonight. I want Jesus to take the service over. I just want Him to do what He wants to do, and that's it. Amen. I just want to be an instrument in His hand. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Mark chapter 2, praise God, reading from the King James Bible. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mark chapter 2, beginning in verse 1, and the Bible says, And again he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was noise that he was in the house. Talking about Jesus here, amen. And straightway, somebody look at your neighbor and say, straightway. Straightway. Man, when you see that, the word straightway, that means something good is going to happen. Oh. Hallelujah. Straightway. Yeah. Many were gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive them. Yeah. Man, wouldn't that be awesome today if we could get, praise God, when we assemble ourselves together, that people would have such a hunger and desire to hear the Word of God. Oh, yeah. were standing outside saying, I can't get a seat inside, praise God. But I'll stand out here, praise God. I'll stand out here so I can just hear, thus saith the Lord, for oh, what the man of God is saying. Yes, amen to God. How many believe that God still speaks to preachers today? Amen. Yeah. God still spreads, amen to God, to ministers out there. Yeah. A fresh word, man of God. It said that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. Come on. And he preached the word. Glory yeah. to God. Oh, hallelujah. It says he didn't preach, it didn't, he says he didn't preach his opinion. Yeah. He didn't preach his thoughts. Come on. It says he preached the word unto them. Amen. Oh my. And that's my, my. what I want to focus on tonight. Praise God. The text right here in two verses of scripture. Well, Brother Mike, there wasn't nothing deep in there. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. You just missed it. Hallelujah to God. When the word is being preached correctly, when the spirit is moving, amen to God, and the man of God hath heard. When he's heard the voice of the Lord and he presents the word to you, Come amen on. to God. Hallelujah. Then things will happen, praise God. We yeah. don't need spotlights and smoke, amen. Come on. Mirrors on the wall. We don't need all that. All we need oh, is somebody willing hallelujah. to listen to the voice of God, oh, to listen to his voice and present what he speaks to them to the people. Come on, amen. But we don't have that nowadays. We That's don't have preachers with backbones nowadays. Nobody don't want to preach to preach the truth. Truth. Amen. Amen. We want to praise God, minister something that will keep peace amongst us Amen. so nobody's offended. Well, yeah. praise God, if the word offends you, then you are doing wrong. Amen. Amen. Oh, let me oh, say it again. If what we preach, praise God, if it's preaching the word and it offends your flesh, you are doing wrong. Amen. And you need to ask God to forgive you. Lord, show me what I'm doing wrong, man, yeah. so I can stay in your will. Oh, somebody out shout it. Praise God. And I want to talk to you tonight. Praise God. He shall not on to My goodness, man. I can't get that out of my spirit. He preached, he preached the word unto him. When he preached the word unto you, amen to God. Do you remember when somebody preached the word to you? Come on. When they preached the word from the Lord, praise God, it made a change in your life. Yeah. Oh, what a difference the word of God made still. Somebody say amen. Amen. So I want to ask you this question tonight. What does God's Word mean to you? Come on. Well, Brother Mike, it means everything. It sits on my coffee table. It's got 10 inches of dust on it. Come we on. pull it out on Christmas, the big family Bible. Yeah. Praise God, we pull it out on Easter. Yeah. Now, what does the Word of God mean to you? Is the Word of God your life source? Is the Word of God your everything? Do you yeah. base your final decision Come on, on thus saith the Lord? Oh, or do you know about what somebody's saying? I'm talking tonight. We need to get back, praise God, to let the Word of God be the final say over everything. Come Amen on. to God. They had on that show, Who Wants to Be a Million? there a few years back. They say, is that your final answer? Well, the Word of God is my final answer. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, the Word of God is my final answer. 
answer. And that's what I want to use tonight for the subject. What does the Word of God mean to you? Amen? Father, we come before you now in the wonderful, the name of Jesus. mighty name yes, of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we just got to say oh, that name oh, again. God, my, 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 the my, 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 name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you for the, the name, Jesus, hallelujah. The name, of the Jesus, name that the name every of knee Jesus. will bow. He shall not let Every tongue confess. Hallelujah. That the name of Jesus is all powerful. Father, I pray you would let us receive your word tonight. Lord, let us. Yeah. Make your word our final hearts. say. Open up our minds, Lord. Forgive us, Lord, where we've relied on other sources. Oh. Men, Lord God. Women, Lord God. Other books, Lord God. Different things. And forgive oh. us where we've not relied on your word. And not cling to your word, Lord God, as the anchor, Lord God. To, Lord, when the storms are hitting us, Lord, that we hang on to that ever true word. Father, have your way tonight in the service. Minister to those who are under my voice here at BOTL. Minister to those going through Facebook and YouTube and all the voice of the Lord broadcast. Hallelujah. The preaching of the truth broadcast. Whatever, Lord God. Bring life, Lord, through your word. And forgive us, Lord, where we failed you in any way. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. name of Jesus. And everybody say it with me. Amen. Amen. You say, why do you say that, Brother Mike? Well, Brother Billy, that means we're all in one accord. Amen. Hallelujah. How many wants to get on one one mind and one accord tonight? Amen. Amen. I wish the church could be that way all the time. I'm all. You know, praise God, I look over Facebook, and that's a big popular thing today. And everybody can voice what they feel on Facebook. They can write, praise God, comments. <laughs> They can stay in touch with family and friends, praise God. They can meet new friends, praise God. They can have great fellowship. And amen to God, thank God for it because it can help us take the gospel out further than we have before, amen. amen. I thank God for the radio. I thank God for I'm CDs on. and DVDs. And yeah. Praise God, everything. Uh, Brother Billy got it hooked on iTunes, praise God. I thank God for these avenues, not, not for what they represent, but I thank God for the avenue that we can carry the message of the cross. Yeah. Uh oh, you heard me say it. The message of the cross. Praise Amen. God. I'm telling you, that's the message that needs to be preached today. Is the message of the cross where yeah. the sinner is lost and Come he can on. run and cling to the cross of Jesus. Amen to God. That's what we need to preach today. That the blood still saves and still washes our sins away. Oh, yeah. It's not dried up and scabbed up. It's still flowing freely from that altar. Praise God. That the light. Lamb of God laid his life freely down for him. Praise oh, God. Amen. All throughout the ministry when Jesus was in this on this earth in the natural, Jesus did nothing without the word. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Every time you've seen a great miracle take place, if you notice before, he was off praying. Come on. Off spending time with the Father. Yeah. Of course, He is the Word, amen to God, oh, hallelujah. Yeah. He is the Word, He will always be the Word, Come praise on. God. His Word will endure forever, praise Him. It said, heaven and earth shall pass away, Whoa. but my Word, somebody say, my words, my amen word. to God, yeah. shall yeah. remain forever, amen, amen to God. Amen. They ain't going nowhere, amen. praise God. All these new fans has hit the body of Christ today. Oh. They're going to pass away, but it's going to be looking back, and there's going to be remain standing, yeah. thus amen. saith the Lord God, hallelujah to God, there there goes the Word of God again. Praise God. Oh. The Word of God can fix any problem in your life. Amen. Amen. That's true. Praise God. But on Facebook, I've noticed there's preachers on there. And if you read a lot what they say, some of it's good, some of it's okay, and some of it is just downright stupid. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. There's some groups on there that they are out there. And I'm yeah. not trying to be mean, praise God, I'm really yeah. not. But if you read what they say, it does not line up with the Word of God. Some of it will line up a little. Come on. But see, God wants perfect precision, amen to God. Come on. See, God don't deal on just halfway. Yeah. God deals with 100% all the way. Can Come I get on. a witness tonight? Amen. amen. To God. See, He said in Revelation, praise God, He said, I would rather you be hot or cold, yeah. but lukewarm, I'm going to spew you out of my Come mouth. On, now, the word spew there means vomit. Yeah. See, God don't want you lukewarm. He wants you either hot for Him or cold for Him. Amen. Come on. 
And I'm telling you tonight, what has happened to the body today? We've heard different things, but it's not been the voice of the Lord. Jesus said, my sheep. How many sheep we got in here tonight? Oh, glory to God. God. He said, my sheep yeah. shall know my voice. Come on. Are you listening to the great shepherd tonight? Amen. Who will come looking for you, amen to God. When you go out there being led astray by the devil, amen to God. How many ever been led astray? Amen. Praise God. How many ever had the devil come at you with some wild, stupid stuff? Praise God. Yeah. It sounds good on yeah. the outside, but when you start digging in there, it's rotten and it's decaying. Amen. amen to God. It ain't no count. Praise God. All it's going to do is make you sick. Amen to God. Yeah. I'm talking spiritually now because what the world is giving out is killing our spirits. Come on. It's killing, praise God, what Jesus died at the cross to fix. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Come and on. some of these people on Facebook really need to be touched by God. Come on. And I'm talking, they claim to be so-called pastors, so-called ministers of the Word. Amen? Come on. But what they're putting out there is poison. And it's doing more harm than good. Amen? Come on. Hallelujah. We need to pray for them. We need to pray earnestly, not only for the people on Facebook, but Come for on. The, the preachers out here today. Amen to God. They need prayer, Brother Billy. Come on. Go over to God. Everybody says they've got a calling on their life. Everybody says they've got a ministry. But is it anointed and ordained of God? That's the question I want to know. Hallelujah. When Jesus preached to them, results happened. Are we seeing results in the church today? Come on. Are we seeing, praise God, are we seeing when we sing and lift up Jesus, are we seeing people be delivered from bondages, from depression, from oppression, amen to God, even in some cases possession? Come on. I'm not saying Christians can be possessed, but there's people that are not believers. They are on the verge of possession. Yeah. And they need deliverance, praise God. And I believe singing and praising God can set them free. David, praise God, had a heart, Brother Billy. Come on. He would go minister with that heart. Yeah. Who was it? Was it Saul oh. that sent for David yeah. to play the heart? Come on. When he was vexed in the spirit? Yeah. Sometimes when we're vexed in our spirit, we need to hear a Come good on. word, amen. A good song, amen. A good anointed song. I'm talking about like music like Amazing Grace. How sweet the oh, sound. Hallelujah. Oh, you don't have to help me tonight if you don't want to. I'm talking about songs like, praise God, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. Yes. Woo! Oh, my God. And the burdens of my heart rolled away. Come on. Because it was faith. It was then by grace. I can't get it right. I received my sight. Now I'm happy. All the day. Amen. Hallelujah. You, brother. Hallelujah. I'm talking about blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Come on. Oh, go. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? Man, that songwriter really must have been listening to the voice of God. Because he on. said, blessed assurance. Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. Jesus is mine. Is Jesus yours Whoa. today? Man, that's a powerful thought if you Come think on. about it. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Hey. Oh, what a foretaste of glory. He is mine. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. I'm talking about the great songs like there's power in the blood. Oh, hallelujah. Go around. Power in the blood. Hallelujah. Go over to God. Them great songs, them great hymns. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Oh, Lord Praise Jesus. God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Talking about the ones like, oh, just one. Hallelujah. No, excuse me. It says, no, not one. No, yeah. not one. Amen to God. Oh, Great songs hallelujah. like that. There is a fountain. Oh, oh glory to God. God. Oh, Woo! hallelujah. Brother Mike, I don't know what any of those songs are. Yeah, but praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> you, you haven't been listening to that stuff. Now, I'm not saying all this stuff out here is totally garbage. I'm oh. not saying that. But some of the stuff that's being portrayed as godly is not godly. Amen. I mean, when they go in there, praise God, and I'm not getting off on this, but I'm just using it as a point. When they go in there and their heads are half shaved, they got tattoos on one side of their head that says Jesus loves me. They got earrings sticking out their ears and nose and mouth Come and on. tongues. Amen to God. That just aggravates the far out of me. Talking to somebody with this thing in their tongue. Oh, they're going to get mad now. Come on. Praise God. I talked to a man in Hopkinsville. He says he's a, he's a minister of the gospel. Got this long old metal thing sticking out his tongue, and he's like, Come on. I mean, that just aggravates the far out of me, praise God. Yeah. 
I mean, we need to get real with this thing. Praise God. God expects us to live holy, righteous oh, lives. Amen. And it's time for preachers from the pulpits, amen to God, to start proclaiming it, amen to God. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to be legalistic either, praise oh. God. I'm just saying, praise God. You know the difference between right and wrong. Now yeah. start doing amen. right, amen Come to God. Amen. Start amen. living right. Start Come letting on. Jesus, amen to God, be your way, amen yeah. to God, leading you down the way. Is this amen. all right tonight, amen. praise it's God? Good. Hallelujah. It may not be voted on, praise God. Maybe not in the top ten, but that's okay because this is what we need to hear, amen oh, to God. Amen. This is what needs to go back over the airwaves. Yeah. Praise God. We're coming up on a new year, church. Amen. Can you believe that? Come on. A new year. A yeah. new time, amen to God. A new season, amen to God, oh, that we've got Lord. opportunities to do great works for the kingdom of heaven. Come on. Hallelujah. The fields are white. Hey, Amen yeah. to God. Oh, you can look out there now and see that. Jesus said in the words, praise God, that the harvest is great, but the laborers are so few. So church, I ask you, what does His Word mean to you tonight? Come on. Because if His Word means anything, that will give you a desire and a passion to want to go out there in these fields Come on. and help bring that harvest in. Amen to God. Thank you, Jesus. It's time we stop worrying about what they're singing and what they're, amen to God, coming to see what they're wearing and coming to see, amen to God, what special musicians there. It's time we come looking, praise God, to see a visitation from the Lord, amen. On. How many has come with great expectation tonight, amen, amen to God, man. for God to do something, God oh, to refuel hallelujah. you, recharge you, renew you in the Spirit. Oh, glory to God. I don't think God wants us to live on yesterday's anointing. Come on. I think He wants to daily give us a fresh new touch. Amen to God. Amen. I was texting Brother Billy here maybe a week or so back. And he wrote me back. And when he, when he texted me back, boy, it just it blessed my soul. He says, I'm just laying out before God. Amen. And I'm not saying that to puff him up in any way. I'm just saying, when he wrote that back, Hallelujah to God. I don't think I've ever had anybody write me back and say, I'm just laying out before God. Laying out in His presence, amen to God. Amen. And you can't even get people to pray when they eat, amen to God, much come less on. come down and pray. Uh, uh, Hallelujah. I've seen preachers, amen to God, at restaurants. You sit there, I told Lori the other day, I seen a preacher over there, and I'm not trying to nitpick, but he was sitting there, amen to God, talking about how godly he was and how the Lord's giving him words and everything. But boy, when they brought that food around, first thing he did, slap, 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 slap start eating that food, amen to God. Come on. I mean, I think you ought to thank God for the food, amen to God. You ought to thank God nobody put poison in it. You ought to thank God nobody didn't spit in it, amen to God. Come There's on. been cases where people would spit the food, amen to God, because of how rude some folks are. Come on. That's why you don't be mean to your wife's sisters. Yeah. Amen, or your wife. Amen. Because they can do you more harm than good. Come on. I had a brother in North Carolina tell me a couple years back, he said, Brother Mike, had a guy in our church, amen to God, he kind of got, had a temper problem, he said. So he was at a restaurant and he kind of got a little bit vocal with the, uh, the waiter because I think something, they put cheese on his burger or something. He didn't want cheese. And he, boy, he let him have it. Yeah. Brother Ricky said, man, Brother Mike, he said, uh, kind of embarrassed me. Said uh, they brought the food back out about five minutes later and uh, it was right and he ate it. So an hour or so later, said, he was in the bathroom sick. Yeah. What they later found out, Brother Ricky told me, is a guy took Visine, the eye drops, and put it in his food. Mm. And if you know anything about that, that'll make you sicker than a dog. Mm. I've heard that over the years. If people put Visine, and I'm not telling nobody to go do that. Don't get, don't, Lord of mercy. And somebody said, Brother Mike said, put Visine in food. But I'm just telling you, you got to be careful what you do to people, praise God. Oh. You've got to really let your light shine in the world of darkness. <laughs> and this man was a preacher that yeah. did this. I tell you, you don't realize that people see you see more what you do than you think. Come on. Amen. Amen. I mean, you can keep things hidden in the dark for so long, but the Bible says they're going to come to the light. Amen. So tonight. What does His Word mean to you, honestly? If somebody would ask you, praise God, how much do you love the Word of God? What would your answer be? Come on. Would it be, it's, it's, I consume it, I crave it, I desire it, it's all I want, praise God, or is it, well, 
I just pick it up when we go on Sundays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and whenever we have service. Yeah. It should be every day. You should get in the Word every day. Hallelujah. I'm on. Praise God. You're not to add nothing to it. Take away from it. The Word itself is powerful enough to change you. Amen. Amen. I want to go into three different things about the Word of God and then we're going to close tonight. Hallelujah. But I think this is really important that we cover over this because the Bible says, Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by what? The Word, the Word of God. See how powerful that is? Amen. Amen. Jesus wouldn't have made... A whole lot of emphasis about it, praise God, if there wasn't power in it. Amen. He wouldn't have used that in the wilderness, when, in the desert, when the devil was tempting him Come 40 on. days and 40 nights. Yeah. That's all Jesus used was the Word of the God. Word of God. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. That ought to be your final thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to get back today to believing God's Word. Amen. Titus chapter 1, verses 1 through 3 declares, Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, Thank you, Lord. The, man, that horses is going out. Glory be to God. Thank Hallelujah. you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Somebody said, well, Brother Mike, I don't mean that to me. Well, praise God, I was hoarse. But praise God, God is getting my voice. But thank you, Lord. Amen. Come on. Paul, a servant of God, an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness. Thank you, Lord. In hope of eternal life which God, that cannot lie, Promise before the world began. I want to. I want to make something. Mention on something right there. I'm on. It says he cannot lie. If God tried to tell a lie, it would be truth. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. If he tried, which he wouldn't, but if he ever tried to, it would turn out to be truth. Amen. Yes, sir. God. Amen. Hallelujah. That gets me excited. Verse three. But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. See, preaching is important. Amen. Amen. Which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God, our Savior. Hallelujah. When you preach His Word, you need to believe it too. Amen to God. No Amen. matter what the news says, you believe what the Word says. Amen to God. Amen. No matter what your critics say, believe what the Lord says. Amen. Come on. No matter, amen to God, what happens in your life. Believe what God says. Believe the promises of God. For the promises of Him are yea and amen. Somebody amen. say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel glory to God. Praise the Lord. No matter who or what, believe His Word every time. Because you can bank on His Word. Amen to God. I, I preached a message. Y'all remember that message I preached about a year or two back about the Word out of Psalm 119? It said, Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a yeah. light unto my path. Amen to God. Just hear that. Thy Word, meaning His Word, is a lamp unto my feet. I'm off. That we take His Word and it's a light in this old world of darkness. Amen. And we, what we did, we cut the lights out here and I had a flashlight. And every time I'd say, Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and I'd turn that light on. Represent the Word right there. And it would help me see to walk, amen, to God. Come it would on. help me, get me around, amen, to God. And that's what the Word needs to do in this day and age. In this where the spirit of Antichrist is running wild today. Hallelujah to God. We need to believe His Word. Hebrews 11.6 But without faith it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Hallelujah to God. You've got to have faith to please God. We need to believe His Word. Somebody say amen if you believe amen. that. Amen. We've got to trust Him, take Him at His Word, believe everything that's written, every dot, and every tittle, amen to God. Because there's going to come a day. I tell you, there's coming a day soon, amen to God. And we're on the verge of it now. What Amos says in Amos chapter 8, verses 11 through 12, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread or a thirst for water, but the hearing of the words yeah. of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And it said, They shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. Amen. It's getting very close. Because preachers today are getting very few that are preaching the truth. Amen. 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 They've compromised. They've sold out for Hollywood. Or Hellwood as I like to call it. Yeah. They've sold out. They, Amen to God. They've basically just given their life over to what a committee board says. To uh -huh. what a denomination says. Amen to God. They don't preach the word no more. They preach what the Baptist doctrine says. 
what the Assembly of God doctrine says, what the Methodist doctrine says, and so forth. They don't preach the Word of God from a King James Version Bible. Oh, amen to God. Yeah. I straight at, I stand on that and say that very strongly because these versions today out there, that amen to God, they're preaching from is getting people in confusion, oh. and God is not the author of confusion. Amen to yeah, God. Amen. That is the devil. Praise God, who would come and bring confusion to the body of Christ and cause us to all be divided as we oh. see today. Amen to God. We need to get back, praise God, to being Christians, followers of Jesus. Amen to God. Like they were in the book of Acts. Amen, amen. to God. Going about, hallelujah, from home to home. Going about, praise God, from city to city, assembling themselves in the name of the Most High God, Jesus. Hallelujah to God. That's what we need to do today. And quit worrying about what titles over us. Worrying about what denominations over us. And start worrying if we're under the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mark chapter 1, verse 14 and 15 says, Now that after John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee, preaching, uh-oh, go over to God, oh. preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Amen? Come on. Not only for salvation, but for everything you need. Come on. Amen. Because He's got everything you need. Amen to God. So tonight, do you believe the Word? I believe the Word because it saves. It says Come it on. heals. It delivers. Yeah. It empowers you. Amen. It enables you. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. It equips you. It keeps you. Amen to God. It keeps your mind in perfect peace. Amen. How many are just thankful for a sane mind tonight? Amen. There's some people out there, praise God, hallelujah to the Lamb of God, there's folks out there tonight, they ain't in the right carnal minds. They ain't got no drugs so bad, amen to God, they off in the head, Brother Billy. Come on, amen. I mean, they delusional. Yeah. And the only thing that can set them free is Jesus and His Word. Come on. Hallelujah to God. So I don't know about y'all, but yeah, I do. I'm going to stand on God's Word tonight. Amen. And His Word means everything to me. The next Amen. thing, praise God. I'm going to feed on His Word. Come on. How many wants to feed on the Word of God? Amen. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 and 2 declares, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. This is Paul talking. I have fed you with milk and not with meat. For hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. See, amen to God, we've got to start receiving the meat of the Word of God. Amen? We've got to get off this milk of it. Amen? That's the simple things. Amen? Come on. Hallelujah to God. We've got to start wanting the meat of the Word. We've got to start seeking God for that meat, praise God. That should be coming from the pulpits today, amen, to God. Now, I'm not saying those that are new babes in Christ, I'm not saying, praise God, they got to understand everything. But they need to take that milk as a baby would, praise Come God. On. A baby takes that milk for so long, and then he starts getting his teeth, and he yeah. starts wanting to eat things, amen, to God, other than just drinking liquid. I know Hunter, praise God, he's tired of drinking, amen, to God, milk. He's tired of eating that old mushy food. He looked at me the other day, Brother Billy. I was yeah. going to feed him, amen, to God. Some uh, some corn and some rice in a jar that's mixed up. He looked at me like, "You really expect me to eat that?" Come on, well, yeah. praise God. Okay, I took a banana, smushed it up, and he ate that better. Praise yeah, God. Yeah, it man. had more texture to it. And see, when the word, when you get the meat of the word in you, it's got more texture in it. It fulfills you more. Praise God. Oh. And it don't make you long for more. It makes you praise God. Like, Woo, glory to God. I got a hold of that and you'll feast on that for a while. You'll share it with people around you. Amen to God. Come on. And do you, do you know the more you do that, the more He'll give you. The yeah. more you empty yourself out, praise God, He'll fill you back Come up on. to give it to more people. That's what God does. He gives you so you can pass out, praise God. That boy, praise God, with the two fish and the five loaves, amen to God, when he put it in the hands of Jesus, amen to God, Come Jesus on. dispersed it out, fed over 5,000 people, praise God, and then they had something to take home. Somebody Come say on. amen, hallelujah. Because when the word is dispersed out, amen to God, it's going to bring back great results. Glory to God. My, 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 my. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Ministers today, preachers need to be spiritual nurses. They need to praise God. Feed with the milk at first. 
And then with the meat later, praise God. They've got to nourish, praise God, or you'll be destroyed. You'll be, you'll starve to death. Yeah. And that's what's wrong in the church today. Come on. People are starving. That's why they're running after every form of doctrine. Amen to God. They're not being fed. Hallelujah. That's why they're doing what they used to call years ago the church hop. Yeah. They go to one place, praise God, and they like something about that place, but they don't like the rest of it. So they leave there and they go somewhere else. And they like one thing about that place, but every other thing they don't like. They can't get satisfied. That will show you right there, you can't satisfy the carnal flesh, praise God. Amen. But when you get Jesus in your life, amen, it's satisfying. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 5, verses 12 through 14. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, we will be the first principles of the oracles of God. And are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he's a babe. Amen. Come on. But strong meat belongs to them that are full of age, amen to God, even to those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. It's time, praise God, that the mature people in Christ stand up. Come on. It's time, praise God, that we start dispersing the meat of the word out and start helping those that are weaker than we, praise God. And we got to quit trying to be so spiritually high-minded and think we're better than everybody else. I tell you today, we've got to get men to stand up. We've got to get men to stand up in their homes today and be men, amen to God, men of faith, hallelujah to God, and quit making the women have to do it all. We need the men to stand up today and take back their home for Jesus, amen to God. We need to get the Word back in the homes, praise God. That's why our children today are so running wild all over the place and doing things, murdering parents, being disrespectful, cussing them out, because we've taken the Word of God out, our family altar out, praise God. We don't sit and pray together. We don't sit around praise God and pray over our food together. We don't talk about Jesus openly. Amen to God. We don't do those things because we don't want to be embarrassed. We don't want to embarrass nobody. Praise God. But amen to God. If you're ashamed of me, he said, hallelujah, I'll be ashamed of you. It's time men stand up today in the church. Come on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. It's sad when women, and I'm not meaning this in a bad way, but it's sad when women have to do all, praise God, the praying, amen to God, the searching out for God, amen? Women has got just a nature about them to where they're sensitive to the Spirit of God, amen? Amen. I wish men could get like that. Come on. God, make us have that, 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 that nature, amen to God, where we're sensitive to your Spirit, amen to God, where it's okay if a man cries, amen to God, and they don't call him a sissy. Come on. Hallelujah to God. Men cry today and the world calls them sissies because they cry. But the Bible says Jesus wept. Amen, Amen to God. And if Jesus wept, it's okay if we weep. Amen, Amen. to God. It don't make you a sissy because you weep. It makes you a man in God's eyes. Come on. Hallelujah. Breaks down that old strong will. Amen. Amen. What does the word mean to you tonight? <coughs> And the final thing, praise God. We need to take the Word and we need to get it out. Amen? Amen. Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20 says, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, which is Jesus. Amen to God. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even till the end of the world. Amen? Yeah. The Word is not given to you to be hidden or to be kept or just to be tossed around. The Word is given to be dispersed. Amen to God. Amen. And that's what we need to do. And that's what we're going to do. Praise God. I know for me personally, hallelujah to God, I want to take this upcoming year and I want to do more for the Kingdom of Heaven than I ever have before. Amen. Praise God. I don't want no Word in me to stay there. I want it all to come out. And minister life to those that are hurting. Amen. Amen. Stand to your feet with me tonight, please, if you don't mind. Praise God. I want to read this to you as we close out. Hallelujah, God. I posted this on Facebook a week or so back, and it, it's very powerful. Praise God. And I read over it and I thought, Wow, man, that just hit me like a like a bat upside the head. Amen to God. 
Smith Wigglesworth wrote this, praise God, and it was four principles that he based his life on. And praise God, it wouldn't be bad, amen, to God to write them down or, or just look into them. Number one, he said, read the Word of God daily. More than just once a day, read it all the time. Every chance you get, amen? amen. The second thing, consume the Word of God until it consumes you. All right. Praise God. How many just want to take that Word and let it consume oh, you? Because when you get nothing but Word in you, praise God, the flesh won't rule you. Amen? Come on. Consume the Word of God until it consumes you. Number three, now this is hard for a lot of folks today. Believe the Word of God. Yeah. That's easier said than done. It really is. Because I tell you, when they come to you and they tell you you're going to die yeah. with cancer, or you're going to die with something. Or they're going to take your home away or your job's done. Come on. It's easier for, some, for a preacher to tell you, just believe His Word. Yeah. But we don't say that just because it's something convenient to say. We yeah. say it because it's the truth. Come on. I know everybody here, just as well as I have, has been to a point to where you needed the Word of God to be the final say. Amen. And all you had is the Word of God. I tell you, there's been times, praise God, financially, I've been so broke, I didn't know where I was going to get a meal at. Yeah. And I had to take God at His Word. Brother Mike, you crazy. I had to take Him at His Word because He promised He would meet my needs if I was obedient and done what He told me to do. Amen? Amen. So I'm not sitting here saying, praise God, I'm not sympathetic with you. I'm just saying you got to believe the Word. you got to use your faith to please God. Amen? Amen. And the last one, and this is hard too, act on the Word. Amen? Amen. Faith without works is dead. Amen. So praise God tonight, what I want to say not only to those here, but to preachers out there watching us, listening to us, let's get back to preaching the Gospel. Amen. The Gospel that still saves and changes lives. Amen. The Gospel that Jesus died on the cross for. Amen. So we could be free. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you tonight for your word. The word, hallelujah, that changes our lives. Oh, we exalt your name. Father, we just ask you right now, let us take the word, Lord oh, God, in this upcoming year. And let us use this word, Lord, for your glory. Let us plant seeds, Lord God. Lost loved ones, family oh, members, dear God, God. Friends, Lord, co workers. Help us, Lord God, to spread oh, your word out. Hallelujah. Take it out of these four walls and spread it out to the highways and hedges, Lord God. We ask you for a fresh new touch on our life, a fresh new anointing, dear God. Help us, Lord God, re re rekindle that fire in us, Lord God, that passion, Lord, that zeal, Lord, that we had once before. Give us a new fresh touch in the Spirit, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. And everybody say it with me. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. If anybody's in need of prayer,